hello in this video we'll try to do model and static analysis on a fuselage model i'll take the radius to be 380 and the length to be 600 i'll try to model the total skin of the fuselage to be a shell and launch rounds to be beams to proceed further in answers I'll go to preferences, structural, say OK, preprocessor, element type, add element or delete, say add, as we are going to take two types of elements, which are shell, elastic, four node, 63, say apply, beam, two node, 188, say OK, close. Beam will not be taking any real constants. So assigning real constants to shell, that is the thickness. I'll take the thickness to be 1. Say OK. Close. Metal properties, metal models, structural, linear, elastic, isentropic. 3, E, 7 is the n smallest and 0.3 is the Poisson's ratio. To perform model analysis, you need to give the density. I'll assume the density to be 1.23. Say OK. To assign the cross-sectional area for the beam, go to sections, beam, common sections. I'll take the beam cross-section to be circular and the radius to be 3. To define the mesh radially, I'll give n to be 20 and Circumferentially, I'll give t to be 10. Say OK. To model the fuselage, which is cylindrical, I will try to model a line which is above an axis at a magnitude of the radius. I'll revolve this line above that axis to actually have a cylinder. To do so, I'll create this line and I'll also create two key points at 0, 0 and 600, 0. The answers ask the line to be swept and the two key points on the axis about which the line must be swept. So I'll be creating 0, 0 and 600, 0. And please do remember that you have created a point 600, 0 which will be used a bit later in this problem. So, modeling create key points in active CS 0, 0, 600, 0, 600, 380, and 0, 380. I have created 1, 2, 3, 4 points. I will create a line with the help of 4 and 3 say ok so to create a cylinder go to operations extrude lines about the axis it is asking to pick the line to be swept about the axis that is this line say ok and it, ask, it is asking the two key points on the axis about which the line must be swept that is 1 and 2 say ok here the arc length in degrees that is 360 degrees as we are modeling the total cylinder it must be 360 as well and the number of area segments is the quantity with which the total area will be divided. In this case I want to incorporate 4 launch rounds so I will take the area must be divided into 4 segments. Okay, okay. You can see that the area is divided into four segments that is one, two, three, and four. Now, as we have completed the modeling, we'll do meshing. Go to mesh, say mesh tools. Set, I'll actually first try to mesh the lines which are being. Say okay, okay. A 
mesh is said to be a fine mesh when the slenderness ratio is 1 that is the length to the breadth ratio of a rectangle is 1 that is the mesh need to be a square one as square as the mesh the finer it is considered so to actually have a square mesh you need to assign the real constant the size control carefully so what i'll do is i'll divide these lines into equal parts set i'll actually select every line say okay and i'll give the element edge length to be 15 for all the lines say okay so first meshing the lines which are beams so selecting the quantity to be line to be mesh say mesh and select the only lines which are to be beams say okay so these four lines are actually assigned as beams now to mesh the rest of the part as shell check the element attribute to be shell say ok and go to select the quantity to be area say mesh and select the every area in the problem and say ok you can see that the mesh is fine and square so applying load go to load apply structural displacement on node i'll try to model this fuselage as a cantilever that is i'll be constraining one side of the fuselage with all degrees of freedom so using box command i'll select only the set of nodes to the to this extreme say ok and say all to perform model analysis there is no need of applying any loads to do model analysis go to solution analysis type new analysis say model say ok go to analysis option give number of modes to be extracted that is number of modes to be extracted you can give 10 just say 10 so you'll be extracting 10 deformed shapes say ok it is asking the starting and ending frequency I'll give the starting frequency to 1 and ending frequency to be somewhere about 10,000 I'll say ok now you can solve the problem solution is done to actually plot different mode shapes get into general post posture read results by pick so you have 10 sets with their concerned frequencies you can actually select any of the set say read close and go to plot results nodal solution displacement vector and say ok so this is one type by which the fuse large can actually get deformed to see the other type go to read results by pick pick any other say read say close and go to plot results node nodal solution displacement say ok so this is another way by which the fuse large can deform in this way you will actually perform the model analysis on a fuse large for the static analysis we will meet I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.